Bonjour, c'est Chaman de Ludovox. Je suis sur le stand de Mash Company et nous allons parler de 12, alors on va dire en anglais puisque c'est le jeu est en anglais, 12 Realms. Donc je suis avec Tim. Hi Tim. Hello. So, um, can you uh, can you uh, <laughs> can you can you just uh, introduce yourself uh, quickly? Yeah. Hello, my name is Tim. Um, I'm from Germany. From Recklinghausen is uh, 15 kilometers away from here. I'm very here, and I work um, today and the next three days uh, for a Mage Company, and I explain 12 realms here. Okay, fine, very very good. So, can can you tell us tell us a bit about uh, 12 realms? Uh, I heard a bit about the game. You you mentioned a bit earlier that it's a second edition. Yes. Uh, you know, at, um, about 12 realms. This is a full cooperative uh, fairy tale game. Uh, so you um, fight together against dark invaders, and you win together or lose together. Okay, so it's a uh, full cooperative games. Yes. Okay. So what are the, the main uh, mechanism of uh, of the game? Uh, the how mechanics of the game is um, you have a hero with talents. Each talent is um, a token, also like a token, and you can uh, just. For uh, Ausgaben, um, uh, a, a sign. A sign is talking to take the power of them to the, to move, to defeat um, enemies, or collect treasures or artifacts. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, wh wh how many how many players can can play this game, and also how many how many heroes can you choose from? Um, the base game is for um, one to six players. Yeah. Um, The best are three to five players, I think, and you have to choose a one um, to eight hero, and each hero have um, two different sides. Also, we have 16 different heroes. Okay, so you have uh, different talents and uh, and power on each side. Yes, um, you have uh, uh, um, different talents on each side, and some heroes have a special power you can use this. So one uh, for the every round in the game, and one hero has power. You can use as a single one times in the game. Um, wh wh what is the duration of a of a game? I mean, is it really different d depending on the number of players? Or yes, of course, it is uh, depending on numbers um, of players, and the game has um, many difficulty tasks. So you can can um, begin with a simple. Um, game to uh, learn the rules and if you make it more difficult you can need more time okay okay so uh, are there some uh, some different scenario in the in the base game or so, sorry so yeah are, are there some different uh, scenarios different stories um oh there is one but i know from the extent also there's only the same story the dark invaders come to um invent the ramps And you know, about in the um, expansion that come in February, um, Ancestor Legacy, and they had gives different plots you can solve to win the game. I uh, skipped a plot with scribbles and the pyramid of time. I fear, but I don't know yet how the functions are. Uh. Can you tell, tell us a bit uh, about the, the turn order? What a player can do at his turn, and o and also uh, I don't know how at the end of the turn maybe the the, the evil the bad side is uh, is acting. Yeah, I can do. Um, well, um, oh, what other? I um, first I want to explain what you can do in your turn. Eh? This is not the order of the game, but it's a, it's a interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. Yes. I yes. Can we just cut free? Also, can we? Take this table. We 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 back to uh, to a table uh, of uh, 12 rooms with uh, Tim that will uh, show us a bit about uh, tell us about uh, the turn order. Okay. Um, okay. Then uh, it looks very good. I can really explain the turn order. Okay. The first that you um, do is um, the um, invader to uh, tokens on the board. Some have um, different powers on the first, like um, yeah, the crow. Have a simple power. Um, the, um, the powers that you don't see is on the tokens, but, but every token has a card, and here's the power looks are there. Or you can know the, if you know the rule book, it's okay. The crow, you roll the die, takes okay, 
where the example it was a five then yeah yeah and the crow fly to the five he moves okay some other kinds like a skeleton from the pirates okay, I could find if a skeleton here is stone defeated in the last round he come a second to him okay just a question is uh, so this you know, are the bad guys right you know, okay. yeah okay. The, bad, uh, the bad guys uh, the invader token then we have um, treasures we have artifacts it looks like the same um, treasures right artifacts black and the good guys are the miniatures the nutcracker red riding hood snow white robin hood dartang young <laughs> okay and then if you uh, have the uh, some power uh, the other invaders have other powers i don't explain everything uh, in the shortcut and then you count the numbers of invaders only the invaders here in the route are one two three four invaders the invader talker takes one two three four steps forward per turn uh, they are staying per turn um some some things happen if the invader tokens um some lines pass but the seven the seven pass the dark fortress comes into the play you roll for everything you roll the way on you know on the two every kingdom have seven um areas it's count from one to six and a town often in the middle or on the border yeah yet you make it through every kingdom you run to three can okay, so run to three and so on you understand it okay then um that we uh, we play together we have four players uh, can, uh, for, just a quick turn yeah okay four players you take pair player two cards and one bonus card also in a five player as in five player games with five heroes you return 11 cards in solo games three cards and so on okay you draw the cards and then you resolve the cards yeah? the silver then the um, first you look is the kind of the symbol from this realms uh, here the silver kingdom yes of course then you take one uh, no 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 i need to okay okay every everyone has steal my then uh, everyone has steal my tokens <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, and artifact comes into play, same kind. Now roll a three, artifact three, and so on. Some other kinds. The autumn fairies has a special ability. Come no single, so come three. You roll three times. I roll two, three, four, okay. and so on. And some treasures, cherry blossom kingdom. New treasures come in, and so on. I give some big kinds. There's difficulty to uh, fight it, and so on. It gives you see many tokens, many cards, um, many different invaders with different abilities. Uh. Okay. Yeah, and it's in your turn. Yeah. You play. Yeah. The, the, the Nutcracker. Yeah. You have here the starting, your starting talents, okay. and the Nutcracker have a um, small number of tokens, but he has a special ability. Okay. You see, like, secret, have more tokens, no ability. Okay. You have three or four um, possibilities you can do in the turn. This, where is the Nutcracker here? Nutcracker now. The simple thing you can do is to move your hero. To move your hero is you can give one moving point to move one square. Okay, you can defeat enemies. You look on the token, on the cards are the same symbol. The gnome, you need a fight symbol or charm symbol. Ne? Gnome are grim people. You can say, hey, the world is not so happy. You say, okay, I come with you. You're not everybody to fight. I would say, no, not knacker is not so, it's not print charming. He's, you know, you know, yeah, you know, you know. Snow White is charming now. Snow White is not charming. He fight 
the gnome. Gnome has a special ability. If you fight a gnome successfully, you collect one gold. Yeah. 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 We, you look. We have. <laughs> you know. Um, then um, collect um, treasures. It's like the same. You spend one magic symbol to, to, to find the treasure. You go and collect the token for treasures. For treasure, you gain a coin. If you collect an artifact, okay, here, take this for the room. Like same as this different symbol. Some says some artifacts you need to fight. Okay, um, artifacts you collect. You need three artifacts of the same kind to defeat the Dark Lord of this realm. If you know the artifacts, you don't defeat it. Okay. Again, you can move to another square, or here I need two squares, one, two, to fight them. And if I know token, I finish my turn. But the other possibility is if they're in a town and I have moved tokens and I have gold, I can buy new equipment. Then you see um, it gives more kinds of uh, talents than the Nutmecker has. The talent he can have swiftness, has power to fight, have magic, but he has no charming, he has uh, no education, ne? and you need it for some other kinds. Ne? Then you go in the town and try to find good equipment. This action is, looks like here, to move, to give a move point. We, you know, reveal two um, cards, and it's the normal the cards cost one or we have some examples. Okay, you know, one or two gold. The base game has 23 different uh, cards, and you can buy one. The most of them look like this. Some give you blue tokens, some give you red tokens. The blue tokens are one-time use tokens. On the red tokens, like the other, you can every turn you have all your red tokens. If you can get new red tokens, you can use them in the same time. That would be on the top of... Uh, you know, on the top of that. Uh, sometimes you can get lucky like what I have seen. Like you, if you buy, if is this example? Is this the last chance, as the last opportunity to buy? You can buy a Pegasus. You can a new swiftness, a new magic tokens. Yeah, can back and then you move now away and fight with this token, a new invaders. As this very okay. But simple is you can red tokens or blue tokens um, to le level up your hero. Yeah, and some have one-time use action. Here you can, it looks like burn, you can give it away, uh, give it away as I said. Again, he, he can fight for you and defeat one enemy or this is array. And, um, how, how, many, how many can you have? Do you have a limit? You have no limit of these cards. Okay. But, um, every, but every card can only buy one time in the game. If you buy a card, if you burn, they come out of the game. Uh, so if, uh, the, the deck gets smaller, smaller, smaller. And, uh, but the other card you don't buy come under the stack. Yeah. The last um, thing you can do in your turn, if you, in a city, travel to another city. Okay, here. It looks like you open. Then your turn is, then your turn is finished. Then you can... You can, can you use all your action and then? And yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. The um, last things, the uh, finally, um, finest of this game is uh, some special powers that the Nussknacker has here. Give his magic array to move from any square in one realm to another realm in any square, and his turn is not finished. Yeah, and what you can now fight. Um, also, if the invader marker come to 16 and above, the Dark Lords come into the play. Mm, I need to take the markers here. Dark, um, to defeat a Dark Lord, you need four talents. It's difficult to have alone all the talents sometimes, okay? 
Aber du kannst zusammen mit Mario the most. Du need only one. It makes no sense to fight together small ones. Aber big enemies like a dark horse or the dark lords, you get more. This is um, useful. Then the What do you need to do just to keep your action here at the end of your, your turn, right? Yeah. Also, you are the Nutknacker. I am Snow White, for example. And I have a book and um, what I need to uh, a, mag a magic tokens, you know, and you have, you know, you know, you need, you know, your turn, you have a sword on the magic, and I have a magic on the book, we act just together and defeat the Dark Lord, if we have the three artifacts, okay, this is the false, uh, the wrong color, yeah. And then after, after we have, uh, we are done with this, uh, this one. Uh, what, what, what do we do? It's closed? Yeah, this is closed. Every um, new card you um, draw, draw uh, from this realm is useless, you know. And you defeat, also if you um, befreit, um, uh, you free the, the people. If you, free, you, know, if you can free the realm, it, it's, the game becomes uh, easier. Yeah, yeah okay. 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 Not, not yet one. Sometimes it looks like okay. We defeat the Dark Lords here, and it looks like so in the other realms. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did our job. That we, we've been paid only for this part. Now we we go have a drink somewhere. Eh? Somewhere. Eh? Somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Also some also some um, possibilities or some variants in the base game are include um, to make some easier the game or difficultly. Some has skipped um, one opportunity to um, have a dark player that controls the tokens and you don't roll for it. And then the player shoots for every card where the people is. And it's often a two Snow White here, the tokens are placed there. And so on. And he has an event deck that to play events against the players. Okay. And it makes some difficulty. Or um, we have special buildings. You can, um, at the start of the game, bring into the play and you have a second chance to build um, other equipment cards and so on. You can use the fortress or leave it, make it easier or difficult or, and so on. I saw, I saw that there were a lot of uh, minis, uh, like buildings and what it is to replace uh, the cards. Or? No, look, I take one. No. Also the building packs are, in the base game are tokens for the buildings and you have the really the buildings that look um, better. You know? and, and for every realm it gives two Dark Lords in the base games. This is, um, yeah, you look at the Luke as uh, this uh, black cylinder and then you have the miniatures of the Dark Lords. It looks better, this is really cam closer. It's to replace that uh, specific one? You, you, not to replace this, you pl replace this. Ah, okay, so you see directly. Yeah, 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 but you only the uh, Dark Lords come into play if reach um, the Invader Marker 16 or proof, and then you will never see the miniature. Yeah. Um, but then you have only, this is a difficult thing in the game, the Dark Lords come into the play if this Invader Marker reach uh, 16 and then if you reach 20 you lose you have a small window to defeat them and if you have um, one two three four five count of this here the dark uh, lord not in play in the upkeep you look okay he gets five forward you have no chance to repeat it you have lost ne? and if you manage the uh, in the numbers of invaders markers if you too, um, the number too small, the marker go not forward and you're waiting too long for the Dark Lord. If you're too much and um, jump over the stairs, you have to lose. So this is yeah, okay, I see. No, yeah, yeah, I see. Okay. That was quite uh, interesting. Is there any plan to, uh, to translate that game or is it even distributed, for example, for French readers in, uh, in, even in English uh, somewhere? Um, oh, I don't know nothing about the French trans translation, sorry, but um, 
I have um, reviewed the German translation uh, two weeks ago. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, uh, sorry, I don't know. It's okay, no problem about that. Okay. Okay, so we, we have um, a good uh, big picture about uh, about the game. Yeah, this is quite a uh, ni ni nice, uh, yeah. nice game. It looks quite interesting. Yeah, the last thing that uh, must say, né, the expansion came in February. With uh, other, the basic game has four of the 12 realms. The expansion came with four new of 12 realms with new heroes, and it gives plots to make the story a little bit bigger. Okay. Thank you very much, team. Thank you. Bye bye.